are required um, to provide a safe and work, uh, helpful work environment for all of your employees. So if your employees cannot wear a mask due to um, a medical condition, mm -hmm. you cannot put them in harm's way. So that being said, so if all you, of my employees that are here that have a medical condition that prevents them from wearing a mask, I need to fire them. No, you can no. find other means to have them work, i.e. Yes. separation. You see my kitchen. I do. And you see that it's impossible for anybody to, their whole shift to mm -hmm. be six feet apart. Yes. Yes. Okay. So with that being said, since they, this is impossible in this small kitchen for them to constantly be six feet apart, you just said yes, you agree that that's the case. It's a small kitchen. I yeah. don't think okay. that. Um, so, how, how many so, how, so how do I employ them? Since they can't be six feet apart and medically, and, and, and because of their health condition, they can't wear a mask. He said, in that case, we need to let them go. In that case, I need to let them go. You don't have to keep them up. So, I need, to, so I need to discriminate against somebody with a medical condition. No, right. Well, the best example I gave your life was let's say you work in asbestos. You're required to work. Well, no, no, no. Let's, 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 let's say we work in a restaurant. Okay. That's where we work. So let's say your employees are exposed to a chemical that um, they have to wear a respirator for. If they legally can. We work in a restaurant. There's chemicals in, in restaurants that you. Um, okay. do you, do you, before COVID, did you see people wearing masks in restaurants? And let's be honest. No. Okay. Not so we work in a restaurant. The reason why people have to wear masks, according to you, your organization, is because of COVID. Right? So let's not start making up stuff that, you know, you have to wear masks because of chemicals and stuff like that. Well, you were talking about in regards to the person's medical condition. Right. I'm telling you an example of um, where an employer while can't discriminate, can not have an employee be put in harm's way. So it's not discrimination. You are not putting able to, you are not legally allowed to put an employee in harm's way. So the best example I can give you is either asbestos or a person who has an allergy to like peanuts. If a person's in a peanut factory or in a place where there are peanuts. Well, let's use common sense. We're, we're, we're not a peanut factory and we're not trying to employ somebody that's allergic to peanuts. Let's use mm -hmm. common sense. We're in a restaurant. I hired these people before COVID, right? Mm -hmm. And they have medical conditions. Where have they, they, have they provided you documentation? Do they, do they need to provide me documentation? Do At I, least a note. Can, 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 can you or me legally ask them what their medical condition is? You can't ask them what it is, but you can ask them if they have something. They might require to. If you want to use that as a um, reason yeah, for I'm asking them if they're required to. No, you're not required Okay, I'm not required to. Thank you. So what you're telling me is that I need but to you're discriminate also not required, against You're also not required condition. to put the employee in harm's way, which is why they're here. I'm not putting it on. So what you're telling me is that somebody with a medical condition of prison for wearing a mask mm -hmm. needs to be let go. Correct. He says so we can put Well no, I'm I'm if I don't let him go, then I'm gonna be in trouble by you guys, correct? No, that's not what I'm not gonna be in trouble by you guys. So why are you here? I didn't say you weren't gonna be in trouble with us. I'm asking. I'm telling you what the standard is. Right. What you're a part of the so if I have somebody yeah, who's been employed by, by me for years, for mm -hmm. years, so now you're putting, you're implementing this new regulation on me that tells me that those people who have been employed by me for years, who have families to take care of, who have bills to pay, who have lives to live, I need to fire them. I need to discriminate because it is discriminatory. You have a health condition that is for wearing a mask. That's discriminatory. You need to leave. You cannot be here. That is the definition of discrimination. So if you're telling me I need to dis discriminate against them and they need to be fired, or else you guys will impose certain violations on them. He said they can impose up to a $130,000 violation for you. Willful. If you're willfully not willing to follow these uh, standards as they are written and being compliant. So if I'm, again, if I'm not discriminating against my employees that cannot wear a mask, you will, you, you, you will find me a violation of fine. Right. Potentially, yes, unless you have some other just, just wanted to make sure we understand that I mean, what, you, what you said is, and I don't want to misconstrue the words, sure. that an employee that cannot wear a mask because of health conditions, and if we can't socially distance them six feet apart at all times from other employees here in the kitchen. Not at all times. The CDC has a right kind of thing where they define what close contact is. Close okay. contact uh, within the six feet distance of a uh, positive person for um, 15 cumulative minutes over a 24-hour period. Oh, so we we can we can come in. We can we can be 12 minutes from each other for 14 minutes. And we're good to go. If you don't come in contact within the next uh, uh, for the next 24 hours, 
Okay. okay. So that's in a 24 hour period, we have a 14 minute. Yes. That, is the CDC, that is the CDC guidelines on what they consider close contact. Okay. Now, that's not regulation. Okay. So let's that's say, for the sake of argument, because you see my kitchen, you see what yes. I have to work with, that, yeah, they're, they're, I just, that it's not possible for me to keep all the boys six feet apart from each other for this shift. So, because of that, the employees that cannot wear a mask due to their health condition um, can't work it. Correct. You cannot put them in harm's way. So they can't work That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you cannot put your employees in harm's way. So I cannot socially distance them six feet for their whole shift, and they cannot wear a mask because of their health condition, so they can't work it. Correct. No. No, they can't work it. No, that's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? What I'm saying is you can't put them in harm's way. Like so by letting them work here, it might put them in harm's way? Potentially, yes. So they can't work here? That's not what I'm saying. That's exactly what you just said. No, what I said was you can't put them in harm's way. And by working here, they're in harm's way. If you're not doing anything else, yes. If, if, they, if they can't wear a mask and they can't stay six feet apart their entire ship, they're in harm's way and therefore cannot work here. Correct? Not what they're saying. We don't. We don't regulate that. We can't tell you to fire somebody. That's what you told me. So no. what happens? Okay. So what happens if I don't fire them? And they're here working without a mask because they can't wear one because of health condition. And obviously they can't stay six feet away from everybody. Their whole shit. What happens to me? You're responsible for it. Maybe. You are responsible for the safety. Okay. And then, what were you, you are by, If you are violating a regulation, there are citations and penalties. That is all we do. So if I employ that person, uh, you will give me a citation and a penalty. Potentially. Yeah. Even okay. this whole this whole situation, with us being here doing this inspection, you are open, as I spoke to your wife at the beginning, you are open to uh, citation and penalty. Okay. If you're unwillful or you're willfully unwilling to do these things that are required of you as a business owner, willful citations can be up to $146,000.